115 years of women, 115 years of tradition. 115 years, years of women, 115 years of tradition. 115 years of women, 115 years of tradition. As you all know, or you should know, today or tomorrow is the beginning of our first ever homecoming weekend at Randolph Making Women's College. <laughs> transfer and you need a good excuse why your grades may not be so strong this semester just hypothetically um, I've talked to a number of professors so is Roxy there's a lot of them who really support this 
Now, it's about a 50-50 split on campus. I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a few that might not support this effort. Um, we're going to rally the alums to personally email every single one of them, begging, pleading, saying do the right things with the students. But those of you who may suffer some slight grade deflation because of your actions, and you choose to A, apply to graduate school at some point in your life, or have transfer, I will make sure you have at least one, if not three letters, to whatever school you're applying to from alums that explain the situation and, 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 and tell you how strong you were. We're going to support you financially. We're going to support you emotionally. I cannot be here physically on the campus. A, I live in LA, and B, they'll throw my butt off campus. But we will, we will do everything we possibly can, and all we're asking is to fight the fight that we can anymore. We're no longer students. We need every single one of you. We know it is a huge, huge sacrifice that we're asking. We understand that it's your bodies and your grades and your future you're putting on the line, but a lot of us are putting a lot on the line too. We're putting our lives, we're putting our salaries on the line, we're putting our jobs on the line, we're putting our families on the line. I mean, we have made a lot of sacrifices. A lot of us have not slept in three and a half weeks. You know, a lot of us have told our husbands, okay, yeah, I'll be your wife in a month or two. Um, a lot of us have put our job duties aside. I mean, there are so many sacrifices going on. Do not think you are in this alone. We love you. We care about you. We're here from you. There's a lot on this campus this weekend, but there's a lot on the listserv and behind the scenes that are working, too, that cannot be here. Now, we're going to stick around and answer questions. There are a ton of things that our alum's doing that you guys don't even know the half of. I mean, there's so many fights being fought on so many different levels. We, our goal in life is to make the board so miserable and so worn out, we know that we have more passion than they do, right? We need, we need your presence felt now. Can I just say that we've said that we're making sacrifices, but we're only doing it so that you guys don't have to make the ultimate one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said when I watched the convocation video, and I bawled. Like five hours. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I said to my husband that night, I said I never thought I could feel so proud of a group of women I've never met. And that's, I, I've never met you and I have no right to feel that proud of you guys. But <laughs> I like to take credit. Um, but I really do. You guys are amazing. And just thank you. And one, one last, does anybody else want <laughs> Sorry. Big now. Um, one last thing is there's a quote that has been going on in my head time and time again. And it's Charles Dickens' quote, and I can't do the whole thing. I wrote it out at some point in time, and I hope some of you actually saw it or read it at some place. But um, his quote is, these were the best of times, these were the worst of times. And yes, these are the worst of times because we are in the fight of our lives. This is never going to be a time in our lives for most of us who ever have to fight so hard and so long for something we love. But these are also the best of times because I have never heard of a time in Randolph-Macon's history where so many students and alums have come together for one purpose and I am honored, honored to be here today. Honored to sit here and tell you guys how much I love you, how much I appreciate your effort, and how much I'm supporting you. And I just want you to know that this is an incredibly special time to be a part of the Randolph-Macon community. And to summarize, Roxy, I have never been more proud than this moment on this stage to be a Randolph-Macon alum, and I thank every single one of you for that. And on the final quote, I have one quote. We would never even breathe the water.